So I want to share with you my research of the top successful startups that are using ChatGTP, GTP3, and OpenAI technology, and what we can learn from them. Now, I watched a few other videos where people are selling you pipe dreams that you're going to be a millionaire or gain a side hustle of thousands of dollars a day. And while that is possible, you'll need to work really hard and probably fail many times in order to possibly achieve that. And we all need to be aware of people selling the dream of making millions of dollars on YouTube while they themselves are just making courses about it. Now we've seen that with dropshipping with crypto and now I see the same thing with ChatGTP and AI. So with that said, I think it's a really exciting industry and let's get into seven successful AI businesses that are working well today and I will share with you tons of resources for you to get started as a builder or as a knowledge worker. Now some of them raised millions of dollars, others have tons of real users and a few uh, popped up in the last couple of months. So uh, let's get into it. So the first company I want to share with you is copy.ai. Now it was founded in 2020 and raised 2.9 million by some of the top VCs in the industry. And it helps basically with writing blogs, posts, engaging emails and, and so on. Now they use GTP3 technology using text prompts and return fully formed and well-written paragraphs. Now this is a great tool for you to get started on improving your copywriting or mar marketing skills, especially if you're in the field. Now, another similar product is Reggie.ai, which raised $10 million in VC money to generate marketing copies and sales sequences. So if you're in sales or marketing, this is another great tool for, uh, for you. Now, what is the pattern that we're seeing here? Well, building on top of technology that is open for anyone to use like ChatGTP or GTP3, there are tons of competition. So many experts are encouraging people to use these tools but building another marketing or blockchain reading tool probably doesn't make sense if you don't have a good way to differentiate yourself. In fact, when GTP4 comes out, these companies are gonna be scrambling to stave off new competition. Now, a great podcast that covers all of these tech trends is All In with Chamath, Jason, Sachs, and Friedberg. Now, they are some of the most successful VCs and talk about AI recently a lot. Now, according to their opinion, the companies that will do well are the ones that are, uh, create a feature set that gives them a competitive advantage. And once they collect more specific data that cannot be found on GTP3 or ChatGTP, because when you're adding extra value to the end customer that is more difficult to copy, uh, you know, you're in a good space. Now, a tool that fits this criteria of having competitive advantage and one that I use a lot as an engineer is actually GitHub Copilot. Now, this tool uses OpenAI Codex more specifically, and they basically help engineers by suggesting code snippets, improvements on documentation, and so on, as I'm typing it well as, as I'm coding. Now, I've been using it for a few weeks and it's been definitely been handy for me. And in fact, in my next video, I'll share my experience of using Copilot for 30 days and compare it to JetGTP's coding results. As someone that's been programming for seven years, I'll put some useful info and tips. So if you're interested in that, like the video and subscribe. Now, the reason Copilot has an advantage is that GitHub is a platform that allows developers to store and manage their code, which most engineers use. So have tons of exclusive data on coding patterns, best practices, and so on. Now, it'd be hard for most others to compete with this. Now, they have a free trial, so if you're a coder, definitely check it out. Now, another tool that I found intriguing that's been around for a few years is Replica. Now, Replica is an AI tool that becomes your friend. You start typing to it with text messages, you pick its name, gender, and so on, and then it's no longer an it. You start referring to this AI friend by the name and the pronouns you chose for it. So the dystopian future is kind of here already for the last five plus years. It was actually started in 2014. Now, Replica asks personal questions, makes jokes, you can even make it more romantic, and so on. And we can judge it and make fun of it, but many people are lonely and they need companionship, so this could be of great benefit. I was founded by Eugenia Kudya, who realized that when her husband died, she didn't have a ton of information about him. Sure, she had photos of Instagram or Facebook, but there wasn't a ton. But what she realized is that she has tons of text messages with him. So she fed that into AI and started to feel like she was talking to him through that tool. So very surreal. Now, there are other more recent tools like HyperwriteAI.com and ShirleyAI.com that help improve your writing. But like I said before, CopyAI and Reggie AI are the two big companies in the writing space. Now, if you're interested in the latest tech tools and startups, a good resource to check out is producthunt.com, where people rank useful software products every day. Now, I found this Gimme Summary AI tool yesterday, so you can get some inspiration from uh, that website. Now, many existing products will integrate AI into their offering if they haven't done so already. For instance, Notion, the popular productivity tool, is rolling out their AI typing tool uh, that's currently in beta. I'm sure many other products will follow. 
So to summarize, there are two ways to be part of this future. One is to help build it either through your own startup or join one of these AI companies. Now, if you're interested in building three resources, you should definitely check out our, well, one is Stability AI, and it's basically a company that provides open source models for different kinds of verticals from DNA to music to text and art. You should listen to the founder, Imad Mostaki, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he talks about his ideas of democratizing AI. Another one is Coursera for about $25 a month. It teaches you machine learning and AI courses. The instructor, Andrew NG, is a professor at Stanford. So it's really affordable and I'm actually going through it right now. Now, the third one is Kegel.com. It provides toy data sets that helps understand how to do data science. And I'm actually in the process of using all three of these and it takes time, you know. I have seven years of engineer experience and I feel like a complete noob again. You can expect the next month or two for me to do a deep dive on these resources as I finish the courses and provide full feedback to you. But basically when I asked my friends in ML and AI, these were the most recommended by them. If you're a knowledge worker or an artist, then using these tools like ChatGTP for writing or DALI2 and Stable Diffusion will likely make you more efficient. Now I'm using GitHub Copilot for coding, Stable Diffusion for artsy stuff, and I'm experimenting with ChatGTP. Now other, other AI tools that I missed that you love, feel free to post them in the comments. Uh, this world is just changing every day. So thank you for listening. Have a good day. See ya.